Hello, <laughs> this, this, is, this is Josh Hunter. Uh, I'm, <clears throat> I'm presently in the... I'm presently in the city of Santa Monica, <coughs> California. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, this is kind of like a, you know, like an impromptu video. I mean, I'm not like, I don't have like a specific idea, or maybe I do. Uh, so, so let's, let's take some time and just like, just like hang out, right? It doesn't always have to be like, it doesn't always, always have to be like, you know, oh, here's another video by Josh Hunter. Like, like, sometimes it can just be like, you know, like us, you know, just, just enjoying the, the natural rhythm of life, right? I mean, look at this, look at this. I don't even have a topic. We're just we're just here. We're just it's just you and me. And, you know, and you know whoever happens to be watching the video. Uh, hello, hello to you. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I see you over there as well. I got a <laughs> I got a question for you. I've been outside for thousands of days. Thousands of days I've spent outside. So let's. So, so, so for those, for those, <laughs> thousands of days without a roof over my head. All right. So, so let's see. Let's take a guess. In fact, let's bet. I got five hundred dollars on me right now. Five hundred dollars, which I intend to spend entirely upon alcoholic beverages. But I want to make sure that it's good. I want to make sure that I can drink comfortably. You know, I can't get a motel because I don't. I don't have an ID. So I'm gonna have to find a way to just really, because I want to drink. I don't want any interruptions. I want to make sure that I got my music. I want to make. I want. I want it to be nice, right? So I, I want to make sure that I'm drunk on Halloween. I want to make sure that I'm drunk on uh, Thanksgiving Day. I want to make sure I'm drunk Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, uh, New Year's Day, and New Year's Eve. Five hundred dollars will, will guarantee me that. So if you're watching this, I want you to think. We well, don't have to think because we're just having a good time, right? Yeah, hey, just, just get comfortable. Yeah, we're getting real comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I want you to guess. Let's let's take a guess. How how much longer do you think I'm gonna be living outside? How many more days, if you had to guess, that I'll, me, Josh Hunter, will be living out of doors, no roof, no physical house. How much longer, if you had to guess? I don't know if you're watching this in real time. Maybe by the time you've watched this, I've already been. <laughs> maybe, maybe by the time you watch this, I'm already like indoors, and this is like a moot video, and you just, you know, you're just nostalgic. I'm going to do some live mathematics for you. Let's take a guess. Alright, so I've been outside for thousands of days. Some might say that's about eight years. <laughs> about eight years. A couple of weeks ago... Anyway. I put forth a considerable amount of energy to... To, to be a person who lives indoors, to be worthy of, of living indoors and enjoying the life that goes along with being an indoor person. At present, I don't believe the amount of energy that I've put forth can be calculated or tabulated with any reasonable amount of accuracy as I've used methods which technically don't exist yet. So, Given the amount of energy that I put forth to retain the form of physical housing, why would you guess that it has taken so long? Do you think that's interference? Do you think there's, you know, people in my way? Or perhaps I have enemies who simply don't like the idea of me being comfortable. 
Do you sense obstruction? Do you think that I'm not clear? Do you think that I'm not clear? Do you think that I'm not clear? Do you think there's something that is yet unresolved within my emotional form? Do you think that I'm angry? Do you think it's anger that's preventing me from going indoors? Resentment, perhaps? Do you think I'm a resentful person? How many times do you think I have asked myself the questions which I am now asking myself? I don't want to guess, but I, I think I can't. I can't let my guess be um, uh, influenced by what I want. I mean, I would like to be indoors within the next thousand days. How long is a thousand days? That's over three years. I'd assume this virus would have killed me by now. I've done everything. If I'm not mistaken, I could not be more exposed to the coronavirus. But yet I still don't <laughs> I still don't have any symptoms. So I figure, well, if I just take poor poor care of myself, you know, I don't take showers, constantly out of the garbage. I'm not, like, very nice to people. I figured I would have just died because of poor health. Or maybe someone would have just murdered me. Yet day after day, I'm still here. Do you think there's something I can do to force my way indoors? Do you think there's some type of a key or a mechanism by which I can get myself housing very quickly? Does such a thing exist? And how do I find this thing? Everyone seems to think that they've got lots of time. And I'm telling you, you are already out of time. Every minute that I'm out here, you are losing something that you're not aware of. But that I am very, very, very much aware of. Every day that I'm out here, where you could do something to get me indoors, you say no. don't know what you're wasting. I know exactly what you're wasting. Or at least in my feelings I do. I don't know if I I know exactly what it is to anyone who hears these words. So here's perhaps I should find something that will that will get someone to say hey get this fuck in <laughs> get this fuck indoors right now. Give him comfortable housing, PlayStation uh, 4 and 5, plenty of video games. Alcoholic beverages, pizza, ice cream. Bed to sleep on. So surely there must be something that exists where I can just say, all right, Here's what I'm going to do if you don't get... No, that's like a threat. No, no. Here's what, here's what I'm going to do if you don't get me indoors. There's got to be something like that that exists. Right? Here's, here's my thinking. All right? I haven't left the city of Santa Monica since... Uh, I, I arrived in Santa Monica, I think, July, mid-July of last year. I have not left the city since then. So I try to think to myself, what would get me to leave the city of Santa Monica? as a way of trying to figure out, like, well, maybe that's what the key is. The key to, to convincing someone to say, all right, here's your comfortable living situation. Here's your comfortable living residence. Here's your, here's your CLR. How do I do this? I mean, I figured, you know, there'd be somebody who would understand my position in this world. But I haven't left in over a year. So what, it's October, that's a year and two months? A year and three months. Nearly. So what would make me leave the city of Santa Monica? I can't even imagine one thing. I got all the bathrooms I need here. 
the air is clean of course so that that protects me from cigarettes and generally you know bad air um, the locals know how to keep their distance they're not like overly intrusive not directly anyway uh, and obviously you know Santa, Santa Monica generally is a nice place I feel as though like it's been a little kind of I don't know I sense like a type of guardedness of, of Santa Monica like like, it's a city that's been taken advantage of. Like, I get the sense that, like, someone has taken advantage of this city. And I'm, you know, I'm, I don't know. I don't want to be, like, one of those guys. I don't want to be a guy who just, like, oh, you know, I don't want Santa Monica to be like that, you know, like the girl at a party, like, who's, like, too drunk or something, you know. I don't want to be like that guy, you know, who's, like, oh, you know, fair game, you know. So, I want to make sure that So anyway, I don't have anything that... So so what would make me leave this place? Like, while, while still being homeless, of course. Guarantee, I suppose. How do you know something's a guarantee? I can't think of anything. So if I can't think of anything, what does that mean? How much longer? <laughs> leave a comment down below. How much longer you think I would be living outdoors? Leave, leave a comment down below how long you think I'm going to be living outdoors how much longer leave a comment down below how long you think I'm going to be how much longer you think I'm going to be living outdoors I have appealed to every spiritual agency who could possibly exist I've appealed to the common man I've appealed to the uncommon man. I've appealed to the royal man. I've appealed to every type of being who I believe would understand me. And I'm not getting any fucking cooperation. And yet no one is coming up to me and telling me like I'm a piece of shit. Which I would imagine that must be the reason. No one is coming up to me directly and saying, Oh, you're just an asshole and that's why you live outside. So, so I want, so let's, let's work together. Like, how do I, let's, I want this video to be, how do I get indoors <laughs> as soon as possible? What, what, what card do I have to play? Because I've got cards to play. Okay. And you may think, oh, you know, that I don't know what I'm talking about. There, there are multiple people whose entire careers are uh, in thanks to me. You may say, Josh, you're a crazy homeless person and you don't know what you're talking about. And in response to that, I say, there are multiple people whose entire careers, which they enjoy, are it directly, it, uh, uh, I am directly responsible for. So, the question is, how much do you love your career versus how much um, wait a minute. Let's take a look. Right. how much do you love your career versus how much do you think that you're like I don't know why you wouldn't have I don't know why there wouldn't have been like these people there's, I'm talking about like 10 people okay like who have no fucking career without me you understand right, you got people who work behind the scenes you know you got your deep state and then you got people who don't fucking exist, like me. So, I'm trying to speak plainly, because maybe I haven't been above ground for like long enough. But it's time to get me indoors. It's been time to get me indoors. I should been I should have been indoors, uh, you know, uh, five years ago. you love your career, then maybe you want to see me indoors. I'm, I'm 34 years old, and I've got the best grades on earth. 